was apparently the man that broke the late Diana, Princess of Wales's heart. We're talking Major James Hewitt. Now, I met Major James Hewitt many years ago when he appeared on a reality TV show, a spin-off of I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. And I have to say, you know, you often say, and we're honest here on this channel, our community, that, you know, he was very nice, very down to earth, very polite to people, whichever way you look at it, you know. Clearly, at that particular point in his career, he was looking to make money through the reality TV route. After all, he was infamous and people were absolutely fascinated by him. This was a man who seemingly walked away from the world's most beautiful woman. No two ways about it. But on that particular occasion, as I say, he was very shy, very retiring and not necessarily the outgoing cad that the media had portrayed him to be. Fast forward to 2024 and now we've got this headline. That's right. Apparently, according to this headline, Major James Hewitt, as he was, or simply James Hewitt now, has decided once again to look for a buyer to sell his love letters received from him while in the British Army from the late princess. And apparently, according to him, they're incredibly revealing. Now, a lot of people have seen these letters over the years, and this isn't the first time uh, that the former major has decided to try and make some money this way. Now, one might suggest, of course, this is very much cad behaviour and scandalous and stuff like that. Other people have suggested, well, what do they expect to do with them? And, of course, some might also feel they're a part of an historical value. Literally, very intimate letters from a woman seemingly uh, in the throes of a sort of dark depression, not necessarily knowing which direction her life was going. Of course, lots of people speculate exactly when Diana very first met the major and they state it was in 1986. Of course, James Hewitt, when I asked him that personal question, is always very clear and concise about exactly uh, his version of events and doesn't want to reveal too much. But if you have a lot of money, and we're talking millions apparently, then you too could be the owner of these particular letters. Quite what you do with them, whether you sell them on or tour them as a museum piece, remains to be seen. But seemingly, it appears that Diana is very much still big bucks. On another news note, let me point this out. There's a story that really you do have to think. Meghan Markle and her team are very much spinning this in the direction of hoping that at some point her, shall we say, uh, tarnished reputation can be put correct. I'm not quite sure if that's the case. You know what I'm saying. Now, reports over here claim that she will be very much open for reconciliation talks with Catherine, the Princess of Wales. And some insiders are basically claiming that in fact that she reached out via a telephone call to put it to end the speculation regarding the sordid uh, memoir, book, whatever you want to call it, from, of course, that alleged author regarding his last book, Endgame. Remember that and how well that paid out. Let me tell you 100%, the phone call never happened. Catherine has not received any communication from Meghan Markle at all. But basically, you know, the palace can't keep denying this story. That's why I wanted to share it here on this channel with you. So you would know 100% when you read these stories about how Meghan was keen to set the record straight and, of course, move the goalposts away from her and Harry having any association with that particular bulk. Despite what these alleged royal experts keep trying to spin, who some might suggest could be working on behalf of a certain agency, it simply didn't happen. And the bottom line is there will always be a few that believe these scurrilous tales. Let me tell you, that's not happened, won't be happening, and not looking likely to ever happen again. I hope that clears up that particular new story. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.